Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jeremy with Southern Weld Company. Been getting a lot of questions about my trailer and my welding setup, so I thought I'd do a little video and show you guys what I run on a daily basis. Start off with, I got a seven by 16 enclosed trailer. Reason why I went with the enclosed trailer is so I could keep my stuff inside the trailer, locked up and secured. And I can also put a wrap on the outside of it, so when I'm going down the road, I got a moving billboard. So I got the side wrapped and the back of the trailer wrapped uh, for advertising and things like that. But the main reason was to keep uh, my stuff secured while I have it going down the road. Dual axle, again, for the um, case one tire blows, hopefully I can get it stopped and not lose control of the trailer. But it is a V-nose, I bought it brand new. It's white, so it matches the truck, but then I got my colors over here on the back as the ramp goes down to the back side of the trailer. Come on inside, and I'll show you what I got in here. Okay, so when I put this trailer together, it was in my mind for several years on how I'd want to do it or how I thought the perfect welding trailer should be for me. And this is what's been working best for me right now. There's been some changes that I've made since I've put the trailer together and there's some stuff that I like about it, stuff I don't like about it, but that's, that's everything. First, one of the first thing I did, you can't hardly see it on the video, but the floor, I've done the ramp and the inside of the trailer, it ended up being about three gallons of that roll-on bed liner. So I just taped it off, rolled it up, because I got it to where if I'm going in and out of the, of the trailer and it's wet or anything like that, I don't slip and break my neck or anything like that. So that gives me some traction when I'm going up down the ramp and when I'm inside the trailer, plus if it gets wet, sometimes I've washed it, hosed it out with a blower and stuff like that and dried it off so it's you know try to keep my stuff clean i painted the inside of it black uh, me being a cwi if i get into a situation where i go out in the field somewhere and i need to review film i basically have a, an instant dark room so i can close everything up i can set a reader or a viewer up inside the trailer and it's dark enough where i can sit in there and i can and look at film and things like that so that was one reason why i went with the black trailer i kind of wanted to give myself kind of the best of both worlds with me offering welding services and uh, inspection services. That's why I kind of kind of done a little dual role with that. When I got to thinking about how I wanted to set everything up, I started doing a lot of research on the trailers and and, and things like that. But I also done my homework on a machine. What did I want to get as a base for the services that I wanted to offer? And after the research that I done, I came up with uh, the Lincoln Electric Ranger 250 GXT. And it's, it's a tremendous machine. I, I've nothing but praises for it. It's been a great machine. I've got it outfitted with um, the Next Time system through uh, Lincoln where I can monitor it on my phone where it tells me if I need to, you know, time for an oil change and, you know, things like that. So I keep maintenance records up on it. I got that on the app on my phone. Um, so I started out with that. I've added the um, high frequency box and this allows me to uh, TIG weld aluminum in the field. Right now, I don't even own a spool gun. Everything that I do aluminum mobily has been done with a TIG rig and it's hanging up back here. But this is what I started out with. Like I said, I added this. I got a wire feeder, I activate X back over in the shop. I got a the wire feeder for that and then I also run a Tomahawk 1000 from Lincoln as well for a plasma cutter. Now when I run the plasma, I run the plasma cutter off the machine but the air compressor, I got another generator. I run it to try to keep, you know, trying to keep the stress down on this machine is, and uh, trying to keep it running where it doesn't try to do everything at one time so I try to take the load off of it but it's so far, it's been a great machine. I got an undercarriage on it. Everything in this trailer, when I thought about it, if I needed to take anything out. So the toolboxes, the, this cart here for the oxygen settling and the welding machine, everything could come out. Cause there's been a few times where I got 200 feet of lead, but I can't, I gotta go further or I've gotten to places where I've had to go through like gates and things like that where I've had to take the machine out and roll it to where I needed to get to. So far it's, it's worked great. So when I got everything set up in here, I went and got this system here. It's called a Z-Track system. It works great. I like everything to be kind of neat and organized. So I got everything rolled up, hung up here on the wall. All my TIG rigs, my stingers, uh, I got my harness. Uh, down here I got the same system. I kind of cut one in half to where I could kind of put some, some of my pipe stands couple saw horses. Down here on the floor I got my tripod and my bench. Got a gang box here, it's got tools in it. This is actually what I used uh, when I first started going out on the road. Ordered these cabinets, got storage up in there and I, there's actually a battery system in there where I can charge that battery. That's what's actually powering the lights that are in here. Got a little tube holder over there for my TIG wire. I try to keep different varieties but depending on what job I got going on I'll swap these out. And then I have, um, on this side of the trailer, I got a mechanics box. One thing I will tell you, if you go get a box to put inside of a trailer like this, make sure that the drawers have latch locks on them. 
first drawer the first box I put in here did not have it it was a nightmare every time I un unlocked the box all the drawers would fly out so I replaced it and got another box in here so I got all my stuff in here all my hand tools chipman hammers all that good stuff odds and ends layout tools wrenches you know things like that um, there's some things that I've been wanting to add in here as well, but I hadn't got around to it yet. But there's a couple other things that are coming in here. Right here, I carry a shielding gas. I keep them locked up with the chain. I don't know if you guys seen the post I had a couple months ago. These guys, Moxie and Settling, they're on this cart. I actually fell. And when I got to my destination about two and a half hours later, I got there and they were laid over in the floor. So luckily I was, you know, I had everything with the caps on it and stuff like that. But I have, uh, went and got some chain and some carabiners and got everything locked up and then got my fire extinguisher and stuff like that right there on the end so I can grab it when I'm working off the end of the trailer. Yeah, this is it. Uh, it's my home during the day if I'm out and about traveling. If you guys got any questions, you want to know more about these machines or what's in these box or the tools I carry or why I carry what I carry, Hit me up on uh, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn. Find me on the social media. Ask me. You know, I'll be more than happy to tell you guys what I use and why I use and my experience with them. But I appreciate you guys stepping in, checking out this video. It's kind of hot. I'm going to get something to drink. Y'all have a good day.